Hi and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, here we talk about home education in the UK and family life in a neurodivergent household. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I say this to you every single time, but your support means the world. So let's get into the video today as the title suggests we are talking about teaching children to read specifically how I taught my middle child Bessie to read now with my boys it was reasonably simple I taught them phonics uh, they eventually started to um, blend words together I made sure they had all of the foundation that they knew all of their phonics sounds and uh, that's the bit that I deemed as my job I taught them the phonic sounds. I taught them that you can put the phonic sounds together to make a word. For example, there's k and there's a and there's t. And the names of the letters are c-a-t, but they make the sounds k a t. And together, you can put them together and you can sound them out and they make a word k a t k a t cat. So I gave them I gave them the tools. I taught them all of their letter sounds and their digraphs. That's two letter sounds together, like sh. For example, a s and a h, um, that's a sh together, as you know, because you can read. Um, and so I taught them the um, taught them these things. And then when they started to blend them together on their own and get that kind of that clicked for them without me pushing it, uh, they just started reading and they have progressed, progressed, progressed. Mm -hmm. um, once they get the ball rolling, they zoom, they have zoomed through. Um, Albert is learning now, he's just learning to read now. And Charles recently completed a reading assessment that we have used since he was young to measure his, since he was about seven when he really kicked off reading, um, to measure his progress. And he has consistently been uh, one to two years ahead um, within a year of learning to read. So um, it's been easy. It's been easy, right? Uh, um, Bessie, however, was a different matter altogether. She could never remember phonic sounds. I would be like, this, what's this one? And she would, because she could remember me the first six, which was S, A, T, P, and N, um, S, A, T, P, I, N, N. She could remember those, but the rest of them, they just, whew, uh, just fell out of her brain. Like they went in, danced around, came back out again. Um, didn't even go through the other side. She just couldn't get it. And for a while, I wondered if she was dyslexic. Uh, there is dyslexia in the family, so I wouldn't have been surprised. Um, she's obviously autistic as well. So again, there can be some learning difficulties that um, kind of um, come along hand in hand with autism, not from a learning to read point of view, but maybe understanding and processing information. Um, <clears throat> I was just trying to work out how best to help her because she desperately wanted to learn to read. Uh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> but it came out as um, refusal most of the time because she felt like maybe she was stupid or she felt like she was never going to do it. So why bother? And it was it was all hard. And of course, we never did anything that made her feel um, like she was stupid or anything like that. We just kept encouraging her and um, it was tough. It was tough for everybody. Uh, but she only really started. She only I would say she only started to make actual progress um at the end of 2022 and she had been at the f five year old reading age for since she was five um and in 2022 she turned eight uh that was in the march she was still five years still a reading age of five in the september she had a reading age of five years nine months and then um in july last year so, so six months later she had the reading age of a child who's eight years, one month, and she was um, nine and a half. Uh, she's now 10 and her reading age is of a child who's eight years, eight months. So she's been con consistently progressing the entire time. And I am just immensely proud of her. Now, uh, some kids phonics doesn't work. And I think this is where school uh, mm. struggles because of course, everyone's gonna be taught the same way. And if you don't learn that way, it's tough do do um <laughs> and uh so this is the beautiful thing about home education home education allowed bessie the space and time to learn to read in her own way in her own time and what i used for that is something called the mcguffey primer now uh, we dabble with charlotte mason um uh, curriculums and uh, learning philosophies, learning techniques, and um, the McGuffey Primer is something that is uh, would um, was endorsed by uh, Charlotte Mason, or at least is um, 
endorsed by Charlotte Mason's Mason Circles, and it is as old as her philosophies. Uh, it would have it was around when she was um, when she was teaching. Um, so I'm going to go onto my screen record now, and um, I'm going to uh, film a voiceover for you as we explore a free way of accessing the McGuffey Primer and um, teaching a child to read with it. Uh, you can buy a book um, and do it with a, in a massive workbook. That's the one we've got. And I have been hunting high and low to show it to you, um, but I can't find it for the life of me. And um, that's really annoying. And it's really annoying because Bessie's, we're starting back. We started back this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. After quite a while off, um, because I was unwell uh, just before you. And um, then between the five of us, we were all ill. Um, from uh, I was I fell ill on the 16th of December and um, Phil was the last person to uh, get it and recover and he wasn't well until the 20, 28th of December so we were we were we were all pretty feeling it was 12 days hard, a hard 12 days so we didn't really do anything and then we had you know um, um, that kind of lull between Christmas and New Year when nobody knows what day it is and no one was doing anything in those days. So uh, I can't find the book anywhere. It's driving me mad. So I'm going to take you onto a website called the Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool. Uh, it's an American site and it's all free. It has a, literally an entire everything you would ever need to home educate your child. If you wanted to use it all, you could. Um, I will put a disclaimer for those of us, uh, those of the viewers who are like me and are not Christian. There are Christian elements to it, Bible study and that sort of thing, but not in the main bit of homeschool. So I'm going to head onto the screen record and I will see you in a minute. Okie dokie, so here we are. This is the Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool and I found this very early in my home educating journey. I can't remember how, um, I'm not entirely sure where it came, where, like, where it came up, but um, here it is and i i've been dabbling with this site since charles was very small uh, we use their preschool stuff and um yeah it's been it's been good so obviously there is this is a christian homeschool curriculum uh, you can ignore the jesusy bits uh so let's just go down here where is it we talk for i haven't used this in a while uh so bear with so we've got kinder writing. We don't want kinder writing just yet. That's going to be kindergarten. That's like year one. Here we go. Sight reading, learn to read. Here it is. Okie dokie. So 111 lessons. And by the time you finish this course, you should be able to read easy things. And it suggests here like green eggs and ham. Um, by the time we finished the McGuffey primer, Bessie could read pretty much anything. Uh, so here we go. See, this is the book we've got here. And you can get that on Amazon. It's a, I think it's it's under fifteen pounds, um, and yeah. So this is, this is uh, go on here. Look, and it uh, says so. Your child should know all of their letter sounds before beginning here, and that is uh, you know abba cursor. It doesn't ask for digraphs, just the main alphabet and what sounds they make. So uh, that would be my first suggestion if you are struggling with reading that um, just teach, make sure they know all of their letter sounds first, A to Z, and if they know that um, the, A, the A says A, and all the way to Z says Z, then you're good, you're golden to start this, okay? So here we go, you can get an app as well, here it is, um, Google Play or Apple Store, whether you're on Android or a, whoopsie daisy, um, 289, that's not bad at all, is it? Not bad at all. Uh, that will be exactly the same as the book by the looks of it, those pictures that are there. So just run through lesson one. So the idea is that you look at the words um, three times during the day. And then at the end of the day, you would um, you would uh, read the story. So let's just click here. Look at your words. Click, click. And uh, lesson one. So A. And you can... As you can see, it's quite a British voice, which I quite like. Um, 
click on it and it gives you the apart from the and that's very american isn't it so then we've read the words we've gone through the words you can always write them down and make flashcards if you are inclined to make flashcards here's a lovely picture of a rat and this is the first story a rat a cat and a rat a rat and a cat that's literally it so you can have it read to you you can say i read it and then you can go back to the main lessons now that works <clears throat> so you are learning the words you uh they're memorizing the words which is what reading is is that you understand what those words are and then you're reading the story and eventually we go all the way down here lesson 52 uh, read the story uh, you've had the words they will be able to read this of course there is some GCC bits uh we changed this as pagans we changed the lords um so the lords and then we changed the words so it says think the lords are nigh is how we read it as pagans um and then we said they can see and hear and um, i actually wrote in the book um i changed the words uh, but but my daughter could read those things um could read this by the end and uh, then we are now on the first reader so uh, she's doing really really well um with that and um and absolutely loves it let's just go back so there's loads of other things on here there's history um art there's language arts there's maths or math if you prefer there's pe there's music there's science social skills um there's even high school and ap if you are at that point yet so let's uh, switch back to the camera and, um, and we'll talk some more. So the website is um, allinonehomeschool.com and you just have to go down in the little menu down here and look for sight reading, learn to read. And that's it. You are ready to go. And it's all free apart from this app or the book if you want to get those. Obviously, they do cost money. Uh, but here you go. You just click on all of these things all the way through. Look. That's just what you do. There we go. And then um, lesson one in your new book, 53 will be the first reader. There we go. First eclectic reader, lesson one, the dog. The dog ramp starts off easy and gets harder. And by the time they are at the end of the first reader, let's just go right down to lesson 63, shall we? What will they be reading at lesson 63? They will be reading, oh, hang on. That's, that's just, that's explaining. Do lesson 62, that's more likely to be a story. Here we go. They'll be reading all of that. Amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. Uh, let's switch off the share screen and we'll have another chat. There you go. That is how I taught Bessie to read. I taught her to memorise these words. We went over them um, three or four times a day. Um, for Bessie, she needed it a little bit more sometimes, depending on the word. And then we read the stories and we just moved on quickly. And um, they each story, so you learnt those words, you had a cat and a, um, you had a cat and rat. Um, obviously, um, those a and and repeat constantly through the book as they are, you know, that kind of word. But cat and rat also repeat for the, for the at least for the first um several stories and then they are dotted in and out throughout the other stories as well um so they're constantly practicing them and um they uh it it just became a really really useful tool for us um and whilst it took bessie longer to learn to read uh that was i think because one she wasn't ready and two it took me a long time to find this uh once i had realized that this was working for her it was like this um, it just it just worked for her so um if we had started it maybe when she was seven which is when um ma i believe that um at least my children i don't necessarily i don't really have an opinion on other people's children but i believe that children should not really do anything until they're six or seven and start things when they're ready around that age i don't think um i think the kids little kids should be little kids and um we should focus on lot other stuff until they get to that point. So, um, for example, Albert is, um, he's six, he is almost seven, he'll be seven at the end of this month. And we are now starting to step things up for him. He's now doing proper homeschool, home ed, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, so, uh, if I had started when I was, when Bessie was, uh, seven, um, 
I think it probably she probably would have hit, but we didn't start it. Uh, it would you know it would have gone. Um, it would have clicked for her, but we didn't start it till she was eight, and then she was um, reading confident confidently this book within six months. She was like, "Okay, I'm ready. Ooh, yeah, let's go." And we're starting to try and read other things, and then um, within, um, I would probably say within the year, she um, and we didn't do it. Every, we didn't do it all the time. We did the toe by toe book um to start with and we probably we probably started the mcguffey primer I'd actually i don't think we started it in the march i think we started it in the september so within six months of doing this book and we didn't do it every week because we are kind of semi-unschoolers so um we picked it up when she wanted to and put it down when she wanted to so the primer took us over six months to complete whereas um if you're doing a lesson a day you um you should be done with the primer um uh, within two months uh that's not what worked for us um sometimes we did a lesson a week and we just repeated it every week um but just go carefully just go gently 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 go gently uh, i truly believe that's what children need they just need a gentle um, they just need gentleness and um, let's let's see how you get on uh, I am here if you need any tips or help with this and don't forget to um, write me in the comments pop me an email uh, check me out on social media if you need any help with this at all any encouragement I am here uh, if you haven't already please like and subscribe I do a happy dance something like this Every time I see someone like the video or subscribe to my channel, I do a happy dance every single time. And sometimes even the kids and Phil do it too, just like this. <laughs> uh, we will be sorting out a giveaway soon, I think, uh, with a cousin of mine who is making some really, really cool um, resources, home ed resources on Etsy. And um, I'm loving her stuff. So uh, we are still needing to sort out a celebration. 2000 subscribers and my cousin Ashley was just like hey why don't we do a thing so that's what we're gonna do uh, I will see you very very soon we're gonna get back into weekly content and uh, it's been great chatting with you about learning to read bye